Okay, welcome to lab 10, calorimetry. Now I know some of you always complain that you've done this in chemistry class. Well, that's too bad. You know why? Because this is in chemistry class, and you're going to do it again. So, there. Besides which, we have better calorimeters than they do, because we're the physics department, damn it. Okay, so a couple things about this lab. First is, it's very important to know one thing about this lab. You know the song yet? This is a safety tip. Yes, the heat is on. What do I mean? One of the things that we use in this lab is called a hot plate. And we call it a hot plate because it's hot. All right, so here's the rule about those. You're not allowed to move them. Why? Well, we used to let people take, we had them up on the bench, um, up on the, on the cart here, and people used to put them back, and everything worked fine. Until one day somebody put one back that was hot, and someone else came to pick it up. Unfortunately, they picked it up like this. This was not good. Two burned thumbs later. So, that's rule number one. You are not qualified to move the hot plates. Either Greg or I or Footsum can, but you can't. Understand? Okay, second thing. We do have these gloves. Make sure you get a matching pair, that's very important. Okay, it isn't, it sounds nice. All right, so one thing you're gonna do, you wanna do here, if I haven't already done it when you come in, is these things here, you wanna have them up to about here with water, and you wanna get them boiling, because you can need water, hot water throughout the whole, whole test. The first thing that you have to do, before you can do anything else, is calibrate your temperature probe and that we'll cover in the next video. So we're going to assume that's done just because I want you to have the, the, the calibration probe, temperature calibration in a separate video if you ever want to look at that. So we're just going to assume it's calibrated. Here's our calorimeter. All right. So what you do, this is the Hulk, this is the stirrer. All right. This is the calorimeter plus stirrer. And we put the whole thing together. And if you look on your sheet, it's MCS. Okay. Now in here, we have the inner calorimeter. That's just this little piece here. All right, it's about 70 grams. One of the things that you need to measure is, actually not, it's not. This is the inner calorimeter plus stir. All right. <laughs> anyway, you need this. This is about 70 grams. You need that mass. You put the whole thing together. Good, it went together. Oh, jeez. All right, and then what you do, is you're gonna have the whole thing like this, like that. Okay? This is the calorimeter plus stir, again. Now what you do is you add cold water in here, and then you have MCSW, mass of calorimeter plus stir plus water. Those are all in your data sheets. Okay? Now, as you notice here, there are two holes on the top of the calorimeter. One, two, see? One here and one there. Now it's very important that you do things in the right order. Like, let's just do this here. Okay, here's our temperature probe. Now, Monica, why don't you come over here? Now I'll take over the camera duties. All right, that's Monica. She's the assistant for the day. Monica, what I want you to do here is take this temperature probe and try to put it in the uh, in the calorimeter. Doesn't fit. What's the matter? Does not fit. Why doesn't it fit? Oh. See this T here? What do you suppose that means, Monica? Temperature probe. Temperature probe, not for the stirrer. So let's let's shift it around like that. Here, you get the video again. <laughs> All right. See every every semester that I forget to tell everybody this about that, somebody will say, "My temperature probe is broken. It doesn't fit. Our calorimeter is broken." Okay. Now, also you notice here on the temperature probe, there's this blue. Uh, tape. That's on there on purpose. If it isn't on there, you got to put some on. That keeps your temperature probe from hitting the bottom or the sides. It's very useful. So you put in some water. Now you, you get the temperature of the water. Okay? You also have this hot water over here. Hot water, cold water. What happens when you put them together? You get warm water. All right? Now this is the important part here. What you do is you take some hot water. I suppose I should be wearing gloves, but this isn't really hot. 
and it's not really even water. You pour the water into the calorimeter. Carefully, not spilling it. See, like that. All right? Now, then you close it real quick. Okay? Now take the temperature probe out, and you weigh the whole thing like that. That's M to on your list there. At this point, somebody from your group should be running up to me with all of your data. Your MICS, MCS, MCSW, and MTO. And then what I can do is I can tell you what your target temperature is. So as soon as you get that mass, you got the mass. Boom. You got the mass. Then you put temperature probe in, start monitoring. Somebody should already be up talking to me. Not everybody, just one person. All right? And I'll tell you the target temperature. How do you know when you are done taking data? Because it's going to take data for five minutes. How do you know? Here's how you know. When you get to the temperature that I told you. Okay? What if it goes five minutes and you haven't gotten there yet? Well, hit collect again. Sometimes it takes longer. Do you want to do this experiment repeatedly? Then don't come up and ask me what the temperature is for a couple minutes. Okay? Because usually what happens there is you miss something. And then you have to do the whole thing all over again. It's a real pain. But you can do this really fast if you do what I just told you. How I told you. You gotta be quick about it. Get your mask, boom, 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 somebody's up here. I'll tell you what the temperature is, and you'll get you'll get done. You like that? What do you think, Monica? She's nodding her head. Actually, she's nodding the camera, which isn't the same thing as her. Anyway. Okay, so that's the first part. Now the second part, it's also pretty simple. But in this case, we have a different object. It's something else we're adding into it. We're adding ice. Ice is very important. In fact, so important. I have to dance because of this song. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, enough of, of that. That was really bad time in American history, I my dad. Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple ice cubes. You want about three or so ice cubes and you add it in here. When you take them from the ice box that's up here, you want to put them in a paper towel and make sure that they're as dry as possible because we need to use dry ice. Okay, never mind. You still, you don't want, to, you don't want them to melt at all because what you're trying to do here is get the heat of fusion. So you want to get the phase change between ice and water. You don't want to give it a head start. Okay. Now in the third part, well, while you're doing the second part, by the way, yeah, see, as soon as you add the ice, boom, you get the mass again. Same thing. Somebody should be up here asking me uh, what, temp what, what your target temperature is. Okay? You got that? Sure, you understand. Because if you don't, you're going to be doing this a couple times. Now, while you're doing the second one, someone from your group should also take some of these copper shots here. These are copper shots. You can tell because on the side it says copper metal shot. And if you look inside, there's a whole bunch of shots made out of copper. And you pour it into this thing here. So we'll pretend. This is while you're doing part two. And you put it in here. Okay? That way it'll be ready when you get done with part two. You'll be ready for part three. You won't have to wait for it to heat up. Okay? Now what you can do here is this, these temperature probes here they look like they're meat thermometers. You can't take them home for Thanksgiving. You turn it on. These aren't really all that accurate, but they're close enough for, for uh, our purposes. So you turn it on, and in my case, the battery on this one's dead, so I'm just going to pretend I turned it on. And you put it in here to stir up the copper shots that aren't there. So I've got a thermometer that doesn't work and non-existent copper shots being heated by non-existent water on a heat heating plate that's not on. Okay, can you follow that? All right, you want to get it into the 90s, so somewhere between the 92, 93, 94, 95, somewhere in that range, okay? Then when you get to part three, I mean, I mean when, you, when you're ready, when you get it there, you take the copper shots, you dump it into here, you get the mass, 
all right, which allows you to figure out the mass of the metal. And then you should be up here uh, talking to me, and I'll tell you the target temperature, and that way you can get done fast. All right. Any questions? Uh, that's right. You can't ask any questions. This is a video. Stupid. All right. So what do you do here? A uh, couple of the little things. The temperature probes. For some reason, these temperature probes were designed by complete morons. All right. And I'll show you an example of this. You see, this thing here, the temperature probe, is, is great. It can take just about any temperature that we can generate in the lab. But the cable, well, if you look closely, it can melt. And it can melt on things like the hot plate, this, I don't know, what else? Be very careful. Make sure you keep the cable away from heat. I don't know, it doesn't make much sense. Who cares? Uh, Greg's got a great example of, of one cable that got really damaged that way. Uh, so don't do that. Like I said, it was designed by idiots. Uh, I don't know. Um, all right. I think that's just about it. Now, this is an individual lab, so you got a whole write-up to do. And we'll talk about that, too, in a later video. But Monica's got to get back to doing her lab. So I'll see you in the physics lab. <laughs>